Breaking up is hard to do, but these films might just help. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movies to overcome heartbreak. For this list, we're looking at the best movies to watch when you're trying to mend your broken heart. Time. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to check out the full song at the link below. And it kills me so I took so long I'll never turn my back on you Number 10. Forgetting Sarah Marshall Sometimes what you need in a difficult time is just a good laugh. We gotta do something We gotta do something Before Mother Earth gets any more hurt We gotta do something Forgetting Sarah Marshall is the perfect antidote when you're trying to get over someone, because not only is it an excellent comedic film, it's also about moving on from a bad relationship. Protagonist Peter, played flawlessly by Jason Segel, slowly realizes just how toxic his ex was, and everything is magnified because he finds himself stuck in Hawaii with her after she leaves him. I'm sorry, excuse me, Mr. Brother, Ms. Marshall, um, but we were able to book the Kapoa Suite for you, sir, for four nights. You were? Yes, sir. Marvelous. Perfect, perfect amount of time. It has a powerful message about self-worth, and also shows off the handy trick of meeting someone new to take your mind off your former flame. Because my heart is broken and I can't imagine doing anything right now. It's probably the same reason you don't go back to school, you know? Number 9. 500 Days of Summer When this movie was released, its unique concept made it seem different than anything we'd ever seen before. 500 Days of Summer uses a chronological narration to tell the story out of order, with the audience being told up front that they shouldn't expect to see the typical love story unfold before them. While at times it does feel like that sort of romance, it's not a traditional happily ever after. And that's a wake-up call we all sometimes need to see. So are you okay? I will be. Eventually. What's more, witnessing this story from the male perspective makes for an intriguing twist since there seem to be many more films told from the female point of view on this subject. She's pretty hot. It sucks. Why is it pretty girls think they can treat people like crap and get away with it? Centuries of reinforcement. Number 8. To All the Boys I've Loved Before While it may seem counterintuitive, sometimes the cure for a broken heart is to find a way to believe in the simple joys of love again. I gotta ask, did she tell you she was gonna do it? Because I just figured you guys talk about everything, right? So she didn't tell me about this. If you want something lighthearted that will make you hopeful for the future, look no further than 2018's To All the Boys I've Loved Before. We just really understood one another. Okay, so would you rather only drink water for the rest of your life or you can drink whatever you want but it has to have a little drop of pee in it? Hmm. Let me clear or yellow. This teen romance is light and frothy and will remind you how much fun you'll have when you open your heart to someone new again. It's also just simply a movie that's joyful and uplifting. And the steamy scenes between Peter and Lara Jean will surely expel your ex from your mind. Lara Jean, everyone was so impressed by your presentation in Lit, but especially me. I love having a smarty pants fake girlfriend. Number 7. Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind Now, if on the other hand you want to fully lean into your feelings of depression, perhaps this is a better choice. My name is Clementine, by the way. I'm Joel. Hi, Joel. No jokes about my name. Oh, no. You wouldn't do that. You're trying to be nice. Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind takes viewers to a world where the technology exists to erase memories of past relationships. Joel and Clementine both undergo the procedure after their relationship ends, but they find themselves unable to stay away from one another, even after finding out what they decided to do. I remember that speech really well. I had you pegged, didn't I? Yeah, the whole human race pegged. Hmm, probably. It's a dark look at the inevitability of relationships repeating themselves, and makes you question whether you'd hire Lacuna Inc. if you could. It's the best place. No, this way. No, this way. No, 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 Number 6. Girls Trip Rather than focusing on the failings of your romantic life, sometimes what you need is a reminder of all the other great relationships you have. Girls Trip, starring Regina Hall, Queen Latifah, Tiffany Haddish, and Jada Pinkett Smith, 
focuses on female friendships and how they can lift you up when it feels like everything in your life is going wrong. Look at me. Okay, come on now. You heard what Ryan said. Just, just be cool. I'm gonna be cool. I'm gonna be cool. I just wanna say hi. That's all. Wait, wait. I'm gonna just say hello. No, no, no. no, 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 no don't you say hello. Not, no, Dina, don't do that. Remember, Ryan said this is her life. Yes. We should oh, get involved. Yes. Yes. Flossy Posse takes a trip to the Essence Music Festival, and it seems like everything that can go wrong does. But in the end, the four women have each other, and they also have each other's backs when it turns out one of their husbands is being unfaithful. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean any of what I said earlier. I was, I was just so... It's okay. It's okay. You were so wonderful up there, so brave. That was amazing. <laughs> We love you. None of that matters. Number 5. Under the Tuscan Sun Is there any better breakup fantasy than getting over your cheating ex-husband by buying a Tuscan villa to restore? Stop the bus! <laughs> this movie is pure eye candy. From the gorgeous Italian landscapes to the even more gorgeous Italian men. Wait. You just kissed me and now you're going? Yes! I'm sorry. Okay. Diane Lane is an inspiration in the lead role, and we feel like we're in the countryside along with her as she faces all the perils of bringing a crumbling house back to life in a place where she can barely speak the language. Did we mention that Sandra Oh is in it? What doesn't this movie have? These are straight men in tights, twirling flags. Oh, fantastic. Number 4. Crazy Stupid Love The premise of this movie is centered on a long-married couple who begin the process of ending their relationship. Cal, I just wanted to say... Shit. Can I back that thing out of the driveway for you? Oh, no. I'll be fine. You have trouble in reverse, is all. When I get settled, the kids can come and take a look at my new place. The husband Cal, Steve Carell, tries to move on, and a younger pickup artist takes him under his wing in an attempt to show him how to get back into the dating scene. Look, I know that sounds harsh, but it's true. And you need to hear the truth, okay? Okay. Cal, would you take that straw out of your mouth, please? The relationships in this movie are intertwined and convoluted, but this is a good one to watch if you still have hope that you and your ex might actually be able to work things out. But because of the multiple storylines, it also works as an inspiration for putting yourself out there again and opening yourself up to meeting someone new. Is this a bad time? Yeah. Oh. Jacob! You know how much pain and suffering you caused my friend, you dumb son? Stay the hell away from my daughter! You stay away from my daughter! I don't even know you! Number three, The Holiday. This Nancy Myers film may be a Christmas movie, but we'd advocate watching it at any time of year. Very normal. Neat freak, healthy, non-smoker, single, <laughs> hate my horrible life. Iris and Amanda are both women suffering through heartbreak when they make the bold decision to swap houses, with Amanda traveling to the English countryside and Iris traveling to sunny LA for the holiday season. They both find ways to get over their messy relationships and their new surroundings. Kate Winslet as Iris has a particularly inspirational speech near the end of the film, once she's finally realized her self-worth, when she puts the guy who's been stringing her along in his place. I thought this was a really close call. You know, I never thought I'd say this, literally never, but I think you were absolutely right about us. Very square peg, very round hole. You cannot mean that. The great thing is, I actually do. Number two. Bridget Jones's Diary. It all began on New Year's Day in my 32nd year of being single. Once again, I found myself on my own and going to my mother's annual turkey curry buffet. It's hard to combine heartfelt emotion with raw comedy, but Bridget Jones's Diary does it flawlessly, making us able to laugh at our own romantic misfortunes with a little bit of perspective. Bridget is perpetually single, and despite the fact that she can at times be quite miserable, makes it look like a lot of fun. Then there's her relationship with the dastardly Daniel Cleaver, which she ends up being devastated by. Ah, yes, well, you know, I thought with the company being in so much trouble and all, you wouldn't really miss the person who waltzes in in a see-through top and fannies about with the press releases. 
There's a particularly great scene where she calls him out in their shared workplace and dramatically quits her job. She also finds solace in a new relationship with the much nicer Mark Darcy. It's only a diary. Everyone knows diaries are just full of crap. I know that. I was just buying you a new one. I'm actually kind of surprised how many of these movies I've seen and liked, because I didn't really think this was my genre. But I guess we've all been there, eh? Our number one is the kind of movie you want to watch when you're done being sad and mopey and ready to put on your best outfit and kick some ass after a breakup. So let's look at the honorable mentions, and then we'll bend and snap towards our top pick. Instead, I made a decision. To pray. You know, like, to God. I'd rather look at the window. Elise Elliot? Elise, you look great! You look great! And I'm really sorry to bug you, but I just, I really need you to sign those papers. Uh huh. <laughs> okay, Jesse, well, I've been busy with work because some of us work for a living, so I'm sorry I haven't had time to focus on helping you get on with your new life. What brought all this on? I don't know. I'm just sick of thinking about it all the time. About what? This stuff. Love and settling down and marriage, you know? Right. And, and since John's game is that he always has a date, to get even with a guy like that, you make him undateable. Yes. Undateable. A systematic destruction of all that is John Tucker. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Legally Blonde It's pretty hard to argue with this as the best breakup movie of all time. I don't understand why you're completely disregarding your signature color. He's proposing. I, I can't look like I would on any other date. This is the date. The night I'll always remember. While sorority girl Elle Woods thinks her longtime boyfriend Warner is about to propose, he instead breaks up with her, telling her he needs to be with someone serious. Elle. Pooh Bear. Yes. I think I we do. should break up. She takes his words to heart and ends up applying to Harvard Law School, where he's enrolled. While at first her focus is on winning Warner back, she quickly becomes absorbed in the world of law and ultimately finds that her efforts are better placed elsewhere. In the end, she shows how much better off she is without him, which is a message we can all take something from. You, however, had time to hide the gun, didn't you, Chutney? After you shot your father. I didn't mean to shoot him. I thought it was you walking through the door. <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments. And hey, if you're a fan of the song playing right now, be sure to check out the music video for it right here.